Welcome to Student Voice, I'm Jasmine Daly. One of the things I miss most about life before the coronavirus is going to see a movie. Movies are for many of us a huge part of our lives and what we talk about with our friends. What is it about movies that makes them so important? Joining us today to discuss this topic are Kristen, Paul, and Adam. Welcome, and we have our Intro to Mass Comm class who are connected with us online. All right, so first off, what are some of your favorite movies? Uh, the Dark Knight. What do you like about The Dark Knight? Uh, I saw it in theaters when I think I was around 12 years old. Um, it was like one of the first movies that, I don't know, there was something about the pacing, the editing. I just like was absorbed into the storytelling the entire time. Sounds good. Does anybody have an input? So for favorite movies, I would definitely throw in uh, Shawshank Redemption. Uh, it, uh, it was a compelling story. It's, it's uh, got the hero's journey in it and um, a lot of lessons about uh, patience and perseverance, as well as just being entertaining. Sounds good to me. What makes a movie good? I think emotional connection is a really big part of making a movie good. I think if it just triggers your emotion and makes you feel some type of way, that goes together then it definitely I, will be a good movie. I completely agree. I like sweet special effects and cheesy one-liners. All right, and what makes a movie bad? Mass calm? An annoying characters, uh, unbelievable, like things that take you out of it. What about you, Kristen? Do you have an input? Um, if it doesn't flow very well, like, from shot to shot or something like that, that can definitely pull somebody out of the movie, which isn't what you want to do, and it just kind of makes it pretty bad. As well so, as... so poor transition? Pretty much, yeah. I also think if the camera settings are really bad, if the shots are too shaky or too wide, then it definitely can affect how the movie yeah. looks. All right, and what do you guys think about ratings? What are their purpose, and do they achieve that purpose? I think uh, some R-rated movies are rated R for uh, really bad reasons. Like, you can have, like, basically a PG-13 movie, but if you have two F-words, it automatically becomes rated R, and then you have, like, you know, all of, half the audience gone just because of that second F-word. Definitely. I think ratings are necessary, but I don't believe that most people follow the guidelines and they're going to watch it anyway. Does anybody else have an input? Yeah, I also think ratings are necessary, but in recent times it seems like they're kind of skewered up a little bit. I've seen several PG-13 films where I'm like, you know, just like a couple of years ago, that would have been rated R or vice versa, an R-rated film that really barely has anything, I would say, bad in it be rated R for just one second shot. So... I definitely don't. think they're necessary. I do think that um, we can kind of toe the line between what should be rated PG-13 or R, things like that. It flips through the years, I think. Yeah. It's definitely the culture. Culture is changing. Mm -hmm. All right. And what job would you guys like to have in the industry? I would want to write the score. Sounds good. Definitely edit. I would love to write scripts and things like that. Yeah, I'd love to direct yeah. and edit as well. I think that's a really good, cool job piecing it all together. Yeah. And what about you, Paul? I am very much interested in seeing what you all produce. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to be a continuity director. Okay, movies are clearly a huge part of our lives and our culture. Hopefully we'll be back to the theater soon. But until then, we'll all likely be binging online. Have a great day. <laughs>